Hey you guys, welcome back to Tried and True. I am excited to jump into this week's episode featuring my five favorites of the week. So let's get started. So today I'm gonna to talk about cowboy boots. I know I mentioned this when I was trying to figure out an outfit for the Texas OU game. The shoes that I had picked out didn't go with the bag that I had picked out and vice versa. I was really having trouble putting things together. I'm a matchy matchy person and really like, if I'm gonna wear a brown pair of shoes and a brown bag, they have to be the same brown. Just have a problem with it. A bunch of you recommended that I wear cowboy boots to the game, which I totally would have done, but mine actually got stolen in college and I've never replaced them. Um, but I recently learned that one of my friend's friends, so my friends Allison and Katie, their friend Lizzie actually has her own cowboy boot company. She designs and manufactures them. And she came over this morning and gifted me a pair. How sweet is that? Thank you, Lizzie. Um, but her company is called City Boots and the boots are beautiful. Um, they're sort of a modern take on the cowboy boot look because I feel like a lot of the ones I see out there are super clunky and masculine and the designs like people may like these so I may be offending people but like too many too much turquoise or like beads on them or I don't know silver accents I just I have a simple aesthetic um, which I like to keep up and these boots definitely fit that they are gorgeous the detail is impeccable just look at that so awesome um, she has a bunch of colors I love the black pair too so I'll link those below in the text section along with these um, they're a great holiday gift idea because it's something that whoever you are giving them to will have for years. If I hadn't lost mine in college, if somebody hadn't stolen them from me, I'd still be wearing them. They literally last forever and they look better day to day the more you wear them. It's sort of like wearing in a good tee. It just looks better, it fits better um, the more you wear them. So I'm very excited to break these in. I'm actually I'm going to the ranch this weekend, so I will be breaking them in further, and I'm sure you will see them in photos very soon. So stay tuned and check out City Boots below. Next, I'm gonna talk about my nail polish. So I've had a lot of questions about it on Snapchat. It's a dark purple. Um, I love it. It's not black, which is great because black is too intense on my fair color scheme happening here. Um, it's just very dramatic. Um, but I wanted to try the vampy look without looking scary. So this is the color I went for. It's a Deborah Lippman color, although I'm not sure what the name of it is. So I will look it up and get back to you and put it below. Um, but it's such a good fall color. Again, vamp is huge. It's a huge beauty trend this season. So um, definitely something to look into. Um, I also love a good dark Bordeaux, so I'll link another one below if purple isn't your thing, but I'm, I'm loving this. It's really, it looks great. I love it. Next, I'm going to talk about this tea. So lately I've been investing in more kind of wash and wear teas. Um, I used to be sort of a silk button down go-to and I still have a ton and wear them often. But because I travel so much, they're harder to rewear. Um, once you've worn them, they're wrinkled and they look gross until you dry clean them. With a t-shirt, you can wear it again, you can throw it in the wash, um, you can restyle it a bunch of ways with scarves and cardigans and leather jackets and what have you. And so they're kind of less noticeable when you're packing for a long trip when you wear them again. Um, and so I'm trying to find things that are easy to do that with, and this is one of those. It's a t-shirt by The Great, which is a brand that's sort of new to me. Um, they also make jeans and other good basics. Um, but I really love this tee because it's sort of worn in looking already. It's got sort of a sheared edge. All the hems look sort of frayed and messed up. It doesn't have holes anywhere, but it's just the edges. It just sort of looks worn already, which I really, really like. Um, it's a loose fit, which is also great. I feel like sometimes because I have big boobs, t-shirts are too fitted and I really hate that. Um, but these are, these fit really well. They're loose fit. They're pretty long. I also hate short cutting things. Um, it goes about halfway down my butt. So it's a good, it's a good option. So I will link this and a couple of, of the great items below that you should check out. So check that out. 
Speaking of jeans, these are not by the great, these are by Rag and Bone, but I, I hadn't planned to buy any jeans during the sale, although it's a great, the shop up sale, although it's a great time to do so because jeans are things that you need pretty much every day, fall, winter. Um, and so why not buy them at a discount? But I saw this pair just while I was perusing the new arrivals and I was like, gotta get those. Um, I'm really into sort of the old Levi's look, the mom jean styles, but I cannot pull off any type of loose fitting jean, like a boyfriend jean or the old, the old looking non-stretchy mom jeans that are really popular right now. But I found these and they're sort of the same wash. They're sort of a light, dirty looking wash. Like they've been worn a bunch of times. I think that's sort of the theme today, oddly enough. Um, but they're really high waisted. They like come up to right below your belly button, but they're skinny all the way to the ankle and they're fitted in the back. So for people like me who like to show off their legs and not wear loose fitting jeans, um, these are a great option. They're super flattering. They are a great color for wearing with creamy neutrals like I love, like camel, white, gray, like gray sweaters, um, they look great. But I'm really excited to wear these. Um, I've already worn them a few times and I got them in the mail last Friday, um, but really, really love this style. So check them out, I will link them below. Finally, I'm gonna talk about makeup again. So I've been pretty lucky to not have to deal with any severe skin issues like bad acne or skin conditions or anything like that. Um, I do have sensitive skin, but I mean, I feel like a lot of people do, so that's not really a big deal. But because of that, I don't ever really wear full coverage anything. Concealer, foundation, everything I wear is very lightweight. Um, I just don't need it. I don't want to wear cakey stuff. Every time I get my makeup done, I feel like they put 10 pounds of makeup on my face. Um, it always ends up looking oily, not dewy, like you'd want it to look, but like oily and like if I brushed my face up against something, like a whole chunk of makeup would come off. It's just, oh, it's, I hate it. It's the worst. But I feel like you see all of these beauty vloggers putting on these full faces of makeup, like layers and layers and contouring for every day. Like how impractical is that? Who has time to do that before work every morning? And like who wants that much makeup on their face at all times? Let's simplify things, shall we? But I do understand the need to want to add something new to your makeup routine for special occasions. So whether that's contouring or doing a special eyeliner or whatever, I get it. I get why they want to do that. Um, the one thing that I've started using more recently, it's sort of in the same lines as contouring, but it's just one of the products. I always wear bronzer. I'll never not wear bronzer because I'm so freaking pale. But I've started using a highlighter and it's this one by Lara Geller. It's the baked, what's it called? The baked gelato swirl illuminator in gilded honey. It's just like a shimmery gold. And what I do is I apply a very light amount to like the center of my forehead, the bridge of my nose and my chin. I also put some under my brow to make that pop a little bit more, give it a little bit more oomph. Um, but it's a great way to add a little definition, add a little sparkle highlight the right areas of your face to come out. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But this is great, I recommend it. It's lightweight, it's not like the contouring liquids that I feel like you see all the time. Um, it's just powder, so you can, it's an easy way to just change things up for date night, a holiday party, weddings, that kind of thing. So definitely check out Laura Geller. She has a bunch of great contouring products as well as highlighters and bronzers and blushes and all that kind of stuff. So I'll link this below for you to check out. It's just a fun way to update your look. So I hope you enjoyed this week's five things um, and come back next week, check back in for next week's episode of Tried and True. I hope you all have a great weekend and I'll see you guys next time.